जननी शारदा देवी रामकृष्ण जगद्गु पाद पद्मे तयो श्रीवा प्रणमा मुहुर्मु Master, weep for God with a longing heart, tears shed for Him will wash away the clay. The inner dirt of attachments and aversions, repulsions and attraction, wheel to attraction and repulsion, raga dvesha, attachments and aversions. Uh, all this will be. Are the dirt sin? Only love. Whatever you do for children, family, society, humanity, it must be out of pure love. Behind love always stands the sacrifice. I, mine, and for me must dissolve. Ego must dissolve. All other things will go on smoothly. What binds man? Is his ego? Ego contains doership, enjoyership, and knowership. Knowership is of worldly no knowledge. Hmm. How to cheat? How to uh, gather money? This is these are all worldly knowledge. He has this much. She has that much. I must have this much. All this pertain to knowledge aspect. It is not the knowledge. Of transcendental, it is not knowledge of the scriptures. It is not the knowledge of the saints. What they say us to do, it is secular knowledge that makes you attached, run after the world more than what we need. So that knowership, that enjoyership, I will enjoy. I will do this. I will enjoy this. This keeps the binding to the world and. You have no freedom, and you have to pay for it. The bondage and suffering, constant suffering. Whatever you hold as mine gives you suffering. You never get joy and peace. Hmm. The same thing you will do. Possess everything as belonging to God, and yourself as a servant. Then there is no, neither guilt is there, nor any bondage. But you keep on evolving. So we for God with a longing heart, tears will wash away all dirt. When you have thus freed yourself from impurity, the inner imperfections, the inner impurity has to be washed out. You will be attracted by the magnet, the God. Only then you will attain yoga. Yoga. He is uniting with the rest of the existence. I have identified myself only with body in waking state, which I live and go when I sleep. I separate uh, with that bodily existence. I am projecting. Mm. So this identity, mm, I with the body, must extend. I belong to whole the microcosm. Has to merge in the macrocosm. Uh, I must be pervading the whole universe, not only the small body mind complex. Every bit of mind, anybody insulting, anybody praising, how it affects me. Any pain in the body, how it affects me. Anybody hurting me, how it affects me. Mm. Like that, we have to get. Slowly, you want to that state of extending to others and going beyond. Mukherjee, priceless words, Master. If a man is able to weep for God, he will see Him. He will go into samadhi. Perfection in yoga is samadhi. Yoga karma sukhaushalam. Perfection in yoga 
ये समाधि hmm. योगा is uniting with the rest of the existence and I perfectly unite. A man achieves Kumbhaka without any yogic exercise if he but weeps for God. So there are various ways. Hmm. The Kumbhaka here is uh, the one of the yogic paths. The Advaitic path is identifying myself with Brahman, denying the bodily identity that I have developed and identifying again and again with the Absolute Mano Buddhya Ankara Chitanya Naha Shivoham Shivoham. Then when we come to the Patanjali's Yoga Sutras, Yama, Niyama, Asana, Pranayama, Pratyahara, Dharana, Dhyana, Samadhi. These Ashtanga Yogas, one by one, absolute purification, freedom from the nature's bindings, then following a disciplined life of sacrifice, purity, divinity and all that. Then getting accustomed to calm sitting wherein there is no external influences or anything binding us by any means. Asana, Pratyahara, withdrawal of mind and senses from external things, withdrawal and depositing in the proper place, Dharana, then ent diving within and entering into the inner layers one by one, uh, an Annamaya, Pranamaya, Manomaya, Vijnanamaya, Anandamaya and reaching the Self. Now various paths we have and similarly Kundalini Yoga is there awakening the power which is which has brought us into the universe and made me a part of this universe. This, the chakras are various levels of consciousness that we have and we pass through these chakras by awakening Kundalini. This is also one of the paths. Then there is a path of bhakti. I intense ecstatic love of God where heart is fully awakened and this part of bhakti school that they defines God and keeping the duality I serve Him keeping love independent of duality I merge in Him. So this is another path of Bhakti Yoga. So Karma Yoga, sacrificing oneself entirely seeing God in the service of others. These are all, one of the paths is the Kundalini where you are going to awaken the power which has brought you into this world, which is remaining with you to take back to the source again. It is like pumping a water in the tank above the energy that you pumped is going to bring it back in through the taps. The water is going to be brought back. So this we see in various ways happening in our life. So the spiritual paths, various spiritual aspirants take various spiritual paths. And here Sri Ramakrishna is mentioning in all things the Kundalini has to awaken, but then nobody ex except the one who is practicing Kundalini path alone will be observing it. Others do not observe the awakening one by one chakra. Leave. At what place, what experience a person fall, experiences when Kundalini reaches different levels of consciousness. Uh, various experience the Jiva passes through that awakening and this path Kundalini has to whether you are doing going through the path of Jnana uh, Advaiti Jnana also Kundalini away but it is imperceptible their attention is not on that attention is elsewhere on the Brahman so they don't perceive it similarly in Bhakti the personal God is taken the whole attention is focused there and here 
what is happening is unknown. So like that Kundalini will be awakening in all things but we don't recognize or pay any attention to it. It ha but it happens. So Sri Ramakrishna is taking that one common view of awakening of the Kundalini here. Hmm. There the Kumbhaka comes into picture. The whole thing becomes bodily existence and psychic existence all becoming silent. Hmm. No movements, no motion. Hmm. Inter internal or external, everything is wrong. Senses do not perceive the external world. And inner forces are managed in such a way the life continuous of all the people are possible. Hmm. Everything is going on smoothly. Hmm. That Kundalini awakening happens along with the Kumbhaka. When Kumbhaka forms, everything is silent. Hmm. It, it takes the inner journey and transcending the chakras and going below, going above, all this happen. What a person is experiencing as a bhakta, a jnani, a yogi, all happen when everything is silent. We enter the inner silence, external silence also. The whole thing becomes stunned uh, as if nothing is there. Only spiritual light, spiritual existence and ocean of bliss, peace, love, absolute is being experienced. It can be perceived in absolute silence and absolute motionlessness. There is another method uh, when you be for God, Kumbhaka naturally happens. Another example Sri Ramakrishna gives regarding Kumbhaka is hmm, uh, a woman, a lady, old lady was sweeping some house. Uh, she is working in a somebody, somebody's house as a servant and she is sweeping. Somebody comes, she belongs to a particular village hmm. and a person comes and tells uh, a person has died, a boy, young boy has died in the uh, that village. Oh, she says, nowadays all th such things, nowadays time is changing, youngsters are all dying. Hmm. What can be done? The social conditions are changing, the, even the Nature is changing, the rainy season and all the seasons are coming uh, in a different way. All this she will be talking and then he says in that particular, he was living in a particular state. Then she still continues sweeping and tell him, oh, uh, that is where almost we are stay, living uh, very close to that street. Then after telling the street, he tells the uh, which house? A huge big house is there. And then she becomes little attentive. Uh, and then he says, uh, that house, such and such people are there. And he, when he tells the name of that person who is dead, it was her own son. Immediately everything becomes silent. This sweeping the broom slips away from the hand and she is in samadhi she has lost to the external world she has lost she is in the thought of her son no this kumbhaka uh, wherein external consciousness is totally lost and what intended consciousness is clinging to
There is another method, that of meditation. In Sahasrara, Shiva manifests himself in special manner. Shiva is a identity which is always Cheto Mukha. That is, it is looking at the absolute, unchanging, eternal reality. Ocean of bliss, peace, love, absolute is there absorbed in its sight. Is Shiva. Hmm. Shiva, a person can attain Shiva, Shivatva, the state the Shiva experiences. Hmm. In Sahasrara, Shiva manifests himself in special manner. The aspirant should meditate on him, on the Shiva. Now, Shiva you can take as a person but as a principle also, wherein whole attention is on the transcendental, as if he is just peeping out of a window or standing outside the door and looking at the other side. The aspirant should meditate on him. The body is like a tray. Mind and buddhi are like water. The sun Sachidananda is reflected in this water. Meditating on reflected sun, once it is the real sun, through the grace of God. Hmm. The aspirant should meditate on him, that is on Shiva. The body is like a tray. Mind and buddhi are like water. The sun of Sachidananda is reflected in that water. Meditating on the reflected sun, one sees the real sun through the gaze of God. Hmm. Seeing the reflected sun, he sees the real sun one day. The how the transformation shifts hmm. through the uh, reflection we infer. The reflection when it dissolves, it captures the mind and senses. Whole being is absorbed as if. Hmm. And then when it is absorbed, the sun in the reflection dissolves in your existence. Your existence dissolves in it. You become one with the reflected sun and you automatically when you become reflected sun, you are that. You are seeing the sun. You are seeing reflected sun because you are outside not being sun. Hmm. With your meditating on the sun, reflected sun, when you become one with that reflection, the reflection is directly seeing the sun. Hmm. Nothing else is there for reflected sun to see. Hmm. Mind and buddhi are like water. In mind and buddhi it reflects and then finally you reach the self deep within. But the worldly man must constantly live in the company of holy man. It is necessary for all, even for sannyasis. But it is specially necessary for the householders. This disease has come become chronic because he has to live constantly amidst the woman and gold. How many times the Sri Ramakrishna uses this term, woman and gold? It is actually the term used is Kamini Kanchana. Uh, what entices is called Kamini. The term woman has nothing to do with the gender woman. Here woman represents a 
principle in nature which entices you for calling as if beckoning you for enjoyments. It is presenting something. Hmm. So here and gold possessions. The possession when it comes, uh, it comes as mine possession. The same possession you can have as his. It doesn't bind. You have a house, you have some property, you have children. Uh, it belongs to me. I am attached to it. It belongs to me means it becomes a source of bondage. It is Maya. The moment you are possessing the same thing without nothing has happened, you have not thrown it away or anything, all things, your house, property and all these children, everything are there as not yours, as belonging to God and in your possession. Then the same thing leads you to God. Hmm. So woman and this one when we say the same body and mind I want to use for enjoying. Now I turn the, the desire for enjoyment towards the divine. I mix with the people who are singing and dancing in the name of God. Hashe kande nache gai. I am using the same body and mind, same enjoyment by seeing God and Divine, which is going to make me evolve. When I do the same thing using the world, I want to enjoy the same enjoyment in the world, holding on to people and positions, then it's binding. Uh, we don't change any aspect of life, we change our attitudes alone. The change of attitude makes us uh, reach the different goals. Hmm. It is necessary for all, even for sannyasis, but it is specially necessary for the householder because the disease has become chronic. Mukherjee, yes sir, disease has indeed become chronic. Master, give God the power of attorney. Nothing to worry. Now you give the power of attorney to God. Let him do whatever he wants. Be like a kitten and cry to him with a fervent heart. The mother put cat puts the kitten wherever she wants to. The kitchen kitten does not know anything. It is left sometimes on the bed, sometimes near the hearth. Hmm. It knows only to call mother for everything. And then the mother, whenever it finds any difficulty, any pain, any bondage, any fear attacking, it calls the mother. Like that, just your trust, dependence, intimacy, hold, everything must be God. Just like a kitten, it has no strength to face anything in this world. A dog comes also, it, when another cat comes, it cannot protect itself. Mm. Any pain, uh, any hunger, it cannot do anything. Till it becomes a self-sufficient and self-capable, it has to depend upon mother. And what does it do? It doesn't know how to walk, how to move. It is just taken birth and meow meow calling on God. There must be trust in the how much the kitten trusts the mother, 
how much she depends upon the mother. Uh, it doesn't take any decision by itself. Anything, a fear comes, a, any enemy comes. It doesn't know even what is enemy, but anything comes. Insecurity happens. It calls on mother. Like that, you be a kitten wherein you have that God's protection and assistance and God shows you the path to evolution and reaching the... We can't guide ourselves. We, have, we are intelligent enough to manage the external affairs in the world, but internal dynamics of the realization of God transcending the inner and external nature. We don't know how to guide ourselves. But at one stage, through the grace of God, the inner intuitive power awakens. It is called God, the mind becoming your own Guru. After that, you get some support. Whenever any problem comes, question comes from within the call. And there is another process where we see hmm, the dependence on God and calling on God solves many of the problems. God directly intuits you immediately what you should do, what you should do. Clearly, with clear steps, He makes you understand the secrets of sadhana. This is possible when you start loving and depending on God a little deeper. Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Tat Sat Shri Ramakrishna Arpanamastu